All right, either need uh, to hold on tight to the ballot today if you are going to be voting, even though you can't. And then maybe <laughs> you need don't to walk around with it, do you? you need your umbrella. We got some rain coming our way. And then you need the coat. And then all yes, the things. Yeah, all the things. <laughs> and hopefully not a boat by the time we get into nope. the weekend. Uh -oh. Guys, no, we don't have that much water, but we do have a lot of rain headed our way. And we do need the moisture, that's for sure. We had a record warm low this morning. Forecast, of course, was in the upper 60s. The record for this morning, as far as the warmest low on the date, was back in 2013 it was 67 at will rogers we only dipped down to 68 so yeah we had a record high yesterday record warm low this morning and more heat back in the forecast today especially for october over two dozen fires yesterday and our storm trackers were out bringing you those updates jim gardner was in the air covering those fires big fire up east of enid had a big fire up in logan county but numerous fires marty logan val castor tom pastrano all out yesterday those winds whipping pushing those fires from the south to the north. They would hit the cedar trees and just explode. A lot of dust being pulled up into those as well. And we've still got very windy conditions in effect right now. So let me show you the latest on the fire danger. Now, you notice that today it's still high due to the dormant vegetation, due to the drought, due to the fuel for fires that's out there and the wind. But the humidity is about double what it was yesterday. And that can help stop the spread of a fire some. So we're hoping for that today. Winds are still going to be a big factor. Blowing dust, still likely. We're talking 40, 45 to 50 mile per hour breezes through the day into the evening. It continues overnight tonight. Still windy, 30, 40, 45 mile an hour gusts. And then tomorrow, the dry line moves in from the west. The cold front crashes in and we'll deal with extreme fire danger, at least to the west of that dry line. I'll show you in a minute. But the moisture as it's been streaming in, we've had a little bit of shower activity south of the Red River. A few sprinkles down in the Dallas Metroplex, and that's kind of pushing to the north. Not out of the question to get a patch or two of a shower or sprinkle in the southeast, but we're mostly dry and very windy. We've warmed now to 72 at Will Rogers World Airport. Our average high is 68 degrees. We're already above that, and our warming trend is just getting going. We've had a gust of 37 at Will Rogers, 38 in Enid, 40 mile per hour wind in Hobart. We've had numerous 40 mile an hour gusts up in the northwest in Woodward County, up near Freedom, and we'll continue to see the windiest conditions in the northwest. Temps in the 70s, some 60s in western Oklahoma, and we're heading to the 80s later today. Now we've got the storm coming in that's driving our wind, that's bringing the threat tomorrow but another one out over the Pacific another one coming out over Russia and they're just lined up giving us several opportunities so if you don't get rain tomorrow which many folks won't there's many more opportunities coming up in the near future we may have a few thunderstorms overnight in the north and northwest and also in the southeast and then tomorrow in the afternoon storms try to take off in the north and more of a broken line forms into the late afternoon and evening I think the timing starts to go up after three four p.m. and we'll see how these storms fire. They may fire a little further west. They may far, fire a little farther east. But overall, they will pose a risk for damaging winds, large hail. There's a very low, not zero, but very low tornado threat tomorrow. There's a lot of spin in the atmosphere. And then everything lines out and moves out. More rain comes in early Saturday with off and on showers and thunderstorms Saturday. More waves of rain into Sunday. And it continues like that off and on into Monday, even into Tuesday of next week. Now tonight, we've got 60s in the forecast, above average, windy tonight, 80s coming up for tomorrow, mid 80s in the west, west of the dry line, yeah, extreme fire danger. And then east of the dry line, that Gulf moisture surges in, will become unstable, and storms start to take off in the afternoon. So we still have that severe risk. I do think we'll have a little rain in the morning, may have a few thunderstorms in the morning, but it's not as widespread as what we'll be tracking for tomorrow afternoon and evening. So again, our team of trackers will be out covering this. A risk for not just intense lightning, heavy rain, but also some hail. Quarter golf ball size hail will be possible when every time we show you this zone, remember not every storm produces that, but this is kind of the zone where it would be more favorable. Also, a very low risk for a brief tornado tomorrow. There is a lot of spin. The low-level wind shear will cause those storms to rotate. Not necessarily a classic setup, but in October we can and do get tornadoes in Oklahoma. Then we're much cooler. We're dry for your Thursday. Rain moves back in late Friday into early Saturday. Saturday and we're locked in with rain chances through your weekend into the start of next week. Latest data still looks good that when you add it all up, two to four inches of rain will be possible in many areas across Oklahoma, guys. We're really going to help with the fire danger. Back to you.